I think you are probably higher on Juju Smith Schuster than basically everybody I've I've seen with rankings. Tell me why you love Juju so much. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about Juju previously, but I think it just bears repeating that his value and the upside is unbelievable in a great offense where it's expected he's going to be the number one option. He's done it in the past. There's only one wide receiver that's currently going the top 50 in drafts, and that's Juju Smith-Schuster. He's number 32 on Fantasy Pros. ESPN has him at 32 as well. We have him at 16 because he's a Chiefs wide receiver, and he's going to be the number one wide receiver there. So why is he going so low? I, I don't understand it. He is... And for where you're drafting him, he is the ultimate boom player this year. He could bust. Sure, of course he could, but they're paying him over $10 million with incentives and stuff like that. He has, he currently has a knee injury. They believe he's going to be back. Um, they, they don't think that it's anything serious nor long term. Juju back in 2018 at 111 <laughs> catches 1400 yards, seven touchdowns. He is the ultimate sleeper. He's the guy that you can look for fifth, sixth, seventh round, like I, I believe he's currently going in the seventh round where he, that's outstanding value for what he could bring to the table. And if somebody would be like, oh, how can you say he's he's a sleeper in round seven? Like if you can tell me some way that you can take in round seven, that's going to be a guarantee, then I'll tell you he should be going higher. So it's great value. Mahomes, number one wide receiver. How many touchdowns do you think Mahomes is going to throw this year? Because if you think it's going to be over 30, my response to you would be like, okay, that seems reasonable. Who is he going to throw them all to you? Even if you pencil Kelsey in for 12 to 15 of them, which is a lot, there's still 15 to 20 other touchdowns that he's going to throw to wide receivers. You would think the number one wide receiver on their depth chart would have at least seven to 10 of them. And there's Juju Smith-Schuster, that puts him as a middle of the road wide receiver too at worst. Juju Smith Schuster or Elijah Moore? Juju Smith Schuster. It's not even close. Renfro. Oh, you know I love Renfro. Renfro is a much better route runner, but the upside is Juju Smith Schuster for sure. Gabriel Davis. Juju. Allen Robinson. Juju. Adam Thielen. Juju. Mooney. Juju. Judy. They're very close. I I think Judy's going to be pretty good. Juju Smith-Schuster is going behind all of those guys at wide receiver 34 on average. Uh, He's also going behind Michael Thomas. Who would you take there? Uh, We both like Thomas a, a whole lot. He's proven that he can be the number one overall wide receiver. He seems like he's back. He has a a bit of a hamstring issue, I believe, um, but they don't think it's all that serious. Um, I guess it's just to keep him out of the last preseason game, and they're going to hit the ground running with one of the most talented wide receivers who's back. So I would take Michael Thomas. Okay, but you just moved Juju up from wide receiver 34 to like wide receiver 26, 27. Easily. Yeah, very easily. Um, and that's just an upside. That does not mean that you have to draft in there. That's just saying, no, right. You know, you can take one of those other guys and still get Juju. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's, it's, he's, he's yeah, a great I, target. He is. I, a great I am target. at 16. You have him at 19 from a rankings perspective. We both love Michael Thomas. I'm at nine. You have him at seven just because that incredible upsides there. This is, it's not even a dart throw. He is the definition of a sleeper where we think his value will greatly exceed where he's going in drafts. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to, uh, he's not going to burn people down the sideline. Like that's why they have McCole Hardman and even Sky Moore, but he's going to be the short mid mid range possession receiver. He's going to be a good Sammy Watkins. (laughs) Exactly. One that, you know, doesn't climax in the first week of the season and then do nothing after that. Week one, Sammy coming to you soon. Green Bay week one, Juju. Yeah, we I I love love the upside. And he's also somebody that where you're where you have to draft him, you're not necessarily starting him or relying on him week one either. Yeah, where you can where you can where you you can see him. You get to watch and see and be like. 
Oh, I got something. And if you miss, which I guess theoretically is possible, you're still not relying on him. Hopefully. Right. 